easiest way to be of service is to take the links, make a comment, share them, like them and distribute everywhere. Take the charity site, the Qurban link, share, share everywhere. Take from the books, from the store, from anything that we have, the articles on Nur Muhammad, take these articles, share them and put that post and like it and subscribe and put that everywhere. And that service alhamdulillah spreads and the blessings and the immense barakah and blessings of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and we share it and spread that love everywhere. Those whom are participating and making comments, Allah dress you, bless you for every comment that you make. InshaAllah Allah take away difficulties from you mm -hmm. that this helps our whole system, the whole algorithm and the whole process. And as we are preparing now for the holy month of Hajj to open within the next well, how many days, eight, nine days or whenever it's opening in the near future that this is the month of the Qurbani, the month of the immense barakah of Eid al-Adha and that those Qurbans are now available for Kenya, for India, for Pakistan, for Canada, for Vancouver. So alhamdulillah and this all brings this way into a way of service and it's so easy for people to serve and it's a matter of getting our shirt, putting the Fatima Zara shirt, identifying an area, go out and buy some food, give the food away and take some photos so that you can and we can make a post on your activity and encourage like minds and like people to come and begin to participate. It's one man, one woman taking a step. If you're waiting for like 20 people to join you, life will never open like that. The tariqah is about one person taking a step and because that one person worries about their grave. As soon as they take a step, I'm going to put the shirt, I'm going to go grab some burgers, some sandwiches, go to the market, buy some bread, make some sandwiches, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to give out to these 10 people, I'm going to take a photograph so that I can encourage people in our area, you send the photographs to us. It's so simple, it's not a complicated process. And as a result of that then people will say, hey I didn't know there's somebody giving. They started now in Florida, mashaAllah, Dan is very active and their family is active. So they put out some stuff, took some photos and before you know it by the time we post it, other people will start to say, hey I'm in Florida, I didn't even know you guys were there. I will come and I'll start giving some food out. And once that system is a little bit more active, a little bit more active, then we can get involved. Because once, once we see that the people are moving, doing, then the website has a letter. You take that letter, you go to your Costco, you go to a local food store and say, look this charity, we're a registered US charity, we're a registered Canadian UK charity, we're a registered Pakistani charity. Take this letter and say, boom, let us have some food and the things you're going to be throwing away, we'll give out. And nobody wants to throw food away, no manager in any of these stores wants to throw food away. So they love for somebody to come spend their own money, gas and time, pick it and take it. It's very simple. And before you know it, immense blessings in your life that Allah is just sending you thousands of pounds of food. Yeah, so this food that coming out of Chicago, this Haji Misbah, <laughs> he's mighty. <laughs> he picked up 600 to 800 meals today, we're calculating, Adam, how much was the cost? $15 a meal and he picked up 600, I think he was given 800, he couldn't take it so he only took 600 meals today at $15 a meal because this factor food. It's like a gourmet diet, <laughs> you know, portioned meat, portioned salts, sugars, everything. What people are spending big money for, Allah is sending for us for free. And that's $16,000 worth of portioned meals that Allah just said, no I want to give it to these people. And He picks it up and gives it out to people. And that's all it takes because you don't have a whole crew of people motivating, it's just one man on a mission get in his car, go out and pick up some food, pick up this, pick up that and it's enough for one person to begin to encourage a whole community to get up. 
whole group of people saying, I love what this guy's doing, I'm going to go join. And we've had that here and our gentlemen here and our families here and our people here, they've been doing that. Now it's an amazing system that just keeps growing, it takes its own life. Because Allah's dressing, Allah's blessing, the group in Pakistan is non-stop. <laughs> there are well over 600 wells oh. in a short period of time, oh. six to seven different orphanages. Oh. Food programs almost daily they're posting, almost oh. daily oh. events are coming out. Now they're identifying uh, the low-income hospitals mm -hmm. in which the pediatric ward is missing, they're missing but butterfly needles, they're missing all sorts of supplies. Mm. And all we have to do is find, locate those supplies, pay for them, bring them into a warehouse and they Masha begin to distribute. Masha so it means this, is, this brings our faith into action. Not a faith that we say we have but nothing comes from it, but a faith in which is a call to action. And our system is not to give money to anyone. If you're in Kenya, in Uganda, if you're in Nigeria, we're not sending you money. So don't even bother asking that. We want students and we want students that want to put their faith into action. That they go out, they hit the street, they give and distribute because it's for their faith that tariqah is doing that. That they're going out, they're distributing, they're putting their shirts, they're listening to the talks. As a result they become perfected and purified students from actually putting their life into action, their faith into action. So Allah bless them, bless them for all these people whom are doing and uh, Allah to raise uh, an army of volunteers whom wish in their heart to do more Ameen. and to spread Ameen. this love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad <laughs> by giving food, by giving Ameen. water and to, by giving these blessings out. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. If you want to be a murid in Uganda then no problem, join the tariqah, <laughs> start taking notes. Let's sort of make sure you watch the videos, we'll ask you some quiz questions of <laughs> what you studied, then no problem. You get your Fatima Zara shirt and go out and give your sandwiches and, and thing. But if you want to just take the photos, put the photo, Photoshop it on bags of rice for someone else and these things are… this is not the tariqah. Tariqah inshaAllah is to get the nazar of Prophet if Prophet is happy with us. That if you look at the smiles of these orphans, look at the smiles of these people, that's enough to take your ticket into paradise. Oh, that on day when Allah wants to question you, what you did, say, Ya Rabbi look at their faces, look at the smiles. This is the only good thing I did in my life if you count it, that these people were happy, these children were smiling, we brought for them a sense of love. How many orphans you think they're getting pizzas? You think orphan is, is, is a top priority for somebody to deliver pizza to them? No, but when you stop your busy life, stop only giving to your own family and make someone else's family to be happy. That they think in their life may be the most important event in their life. That somebody thought of me, somebody from far away thought of me, somebody made me to be happy. I got an ice cream, I got a goodie bag, I got some pizza, it may be everything in someone's life. We see so many psychological profiles that they say, oh when I was nine years old I was so traumatized by what somebody ridiculed me and made fun of me, uh, they became a serial killer by the age of 30. One event. In Western society they talk about how one event destroyed them and they became so corrupt. Imagine one event making somebody happy, feeling loved, feeling that they're important. InshaAllah by means of this Allah dress us, bless us and take every difficulty away from ourselves, our families and our children and our communities. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.